Welcome to How to Use AI, a guide on using AI as an SNHU student. To make the content in this video more accessible, click the closed caption or adjust the playback speed. If you haven't watched our Student Guide to AI video, pause here and watch that first. The Student Guide to AI video covers some basic information you should be aware of before using AI. You can find a link to that video in the description box below. Today, we're going to look at how you can use AI to proofread assignments, clarify course concepts, help you brainstorm, organize ideas, and break down tasks, and manage your time and tasks. Before we get into these ideas, remember to prioritize course materials and skill building. Be sure to check out all the resources available here at Academic Support. And always use AI as a tool to enhance your learning and experiences, not to replace them. AI can be helpful for proofreading your work and teaching you to become a better writer. To do this, use a tool made specifically for grammar and spell check, such as Grammarly. AI proofreaders can catch typos and mistakes that you miss in your own self-edits, which can increase your confidence when submitting important assignments. AI proofreaders can also be a great tool for practicing grammar skills, especially for students who are multilingual, have learning differences, or struggle with English grammar for any reason. To avoid using a proofreading tool as a crutch or replacement for building grammar skills, I recommend making all the changes yourself. As shown in the video, look through the suggestions made by the grammar and spell checker, decide which changes you want to make, and then make those changes with your keyboard and mouse. This method will allow you to practice self-editing, proper grammar usage, and writing with improved clarity and flow. When using an AI proofreader, watch out for inaccurate suggestions. These algorithms are not perfect, and be careful of using rewrite features that change your writing to sound more academic or formal. Not only does this cross the line into cheating, but it also strips your writing of your unique voice. It's best to use official course materials to clarify concepts, but if you've already checked your readings and instructor's announcements and still have questions, you can use AI like a more sophisticated search engine. If you don't get a good response the first time, you can ask follow-up questions to further clarify. One great feature of AI chatbots is that they remember what was already said in the chat, which makes asking follow-up questions easier. You can see this in action using Latimer in the video. Using AI instead of a traditional search engine allows you to ask more complex questions. You can also ask the AI to put answers into more accessible language, which can help increase understanding this is particularly helpful for those who are multilingual or multidialectal. Another AI tool that can be helpful for breaking down concepts is the Professor on Goblin tools. The Professor will give you a brief breakdown and an example. The web version of Goblin tools is free to use. When using AI to get information, be sure to verify the answers for accuracy. AI is not considered a credible source. In ChatGPT, you can use Deep Search to get links that back up the information provided. Be sure to navigate to the links and check the source for credibility using a checklist, such as the CRAAPO method. This test is a mnemonic device used to evaluate the credibility and reliability of information sources, especially when conducting research. It stands for currency, relevance, authority, accuracy, purpose, and objectivity. Gemini's automatic responses to your Google searches will also sometimes include links 
where you can verify the provided information. Remember this replaces a Google search, not your course materials. And don't forget we have workshops, office hours, and other group sessions available at Academic Support, which can help you clarify concepts for a variety of subjects. AI tools can also help you brainstorm ideas for projects. You can ask for help with brainstorming strategies, summarizing a list of ideas, or transcribing a recording of yourself talking about your ideas. Using AI can be useful when you don't have a support person available at that moment to bounce ideas off of. It can also make the creative process less overwhelming by summarizing your ideas, especially if you have a lot of them or if you're feeling stuck. Sometimes, just talking through the ideas with the chatbot can help you reach a breakthrough. Just make sure that your ideas are truly your own and that the AI only helped guide your own idea generation. Use AI as a tool to enhance your creative processes, not as a replacement for creativity. Once you have ideas generated, you can use AI to help you organize and structure your ideas. If you're not sure how your ideas will fit into the structure required for your assignment, you can ask AI to assist you. AI can also help break tasks down into smaller, bite-sized steps. A great resource for this task breakdown is the magic to do on Goblin tools. When you enter a task, you can use the magic wand to break that task down into individual steps. Using AI to help you organize your ideas and tasks can provide needed support while you learn these skills yourself. It's also a useful tool for those with learning differences. If you struggle with organizational tasks often, be sure to book a session with one of our academic coaches. They can help you develop and practice those skills. If you're feeling overwhelmed with a mental load of things you need to get to, AI can help you prioritize and compile to-do lists. Goblin Tools has a compiler function where you can input a brain dump of everything you have going on, and it will turn your chaotic thoughts into a neat list. You can even add these tasks to the magic to-do to break them down as we did in the previous section. If you want those tasks put into a schedule, you can use a conversational AI like ChatGPT, Gemini, or Copilot to specify what you want. See how ChatGPT organized tasks into a daily schedule in this example? If you don't like something about the schedule, you can ask the bot to make edits. It's a pretty handy assistant. You can also use AI to create a schedule of due dates for your course by giving the AI a list of assignments for each module, what day of the week they're due, and a term start date. AI can help take care of some of those more tedious tasks. When brain dumping into AI, be careful not to share confidential or sensitive information with the bot accidentally. Remember to stay secure online. These are just some of the ways you can use AI to help you as a student. See our other academic support resources for more information about AI, guidelines, use, and tools. Thanks for watching.